Hello everybody, welcome back in my Remix 11 and I'm doing another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a um, shiny animated text like this. Now, keep in mind when we save this it will be a lot slower. I mean, yeah, a lot slower. I sure think that might have been real time. And it's a loop, so yeah. Let's get started. Okay, so right here all I did was make a background and text. This text just has a inner shadow. That's it. It's not really hard to do. Just color your background, color your text, add an inner shadow to your text, add that angle. Let me show it to you real fast. This is what you're going to add on your text, inner shadow. I mean, you don't have to do this, this is just an example. Let's so make the settings. Okay. So what we're doing, now if you don't see your timeline here, and you just see nothing at the bottom here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on window, and timeline right there at the bottom, should get your mini bird timeline, I'm not sure if you have your mini bird somewhere else, but for me I have my timeline connected to it. So that's a bit messed up. Whatever. Okay. So, to get started, once you have your text in your background, you want to create another layer above your text. And make sure you have the same color as your text. So, you're just going to want to take it and you're going to want to make it a bit lighter to make it look like it's being brightened up, I suppose. Then, you're going to want to take your brush tool. Now this might be a little bit too, but it's fine. You're going to want to hold down shift with just the edge overhanging here. And you're just going to want to drag down so you have this. Now you'll see if we hold alt, and then if you just drag in between these two layers, you see this little arrow? That's a clipping mask. We're just going to click right when that appears, and you'll see it. it's pretty much bound to that but what I like to do is create the clipping mask first so nothing goes wrong like it just did a second ago. Actually no that's the inner shadow messing it up. Just trying to find a starting position I like. They're right there. No you have to start all the way up at the top just so you get everything. Just like that. Okay, I don't know why the inner shadow is bothering it. You know, it shouldn't. Suppose that helps a bit. Okay. But now, what you want to do, you have your first frame right here at the bottom. Make sure this is set to no delay. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take with it selected. You're going to want to click this new layer button down here in your timeline and it basically duplicates it. So now that you have this selected, this is basically kind of a different composition I suppose if you're familiar with um, what is it? um After Effects. So you're going to want to grab your move tool with a uh, layer 2 selected or your gloss layer. And you'll see, and you'll see, it kind of affects both. So now, on your second frame, you're just going to want to drag all the way to the other end, and you'll see this is what it's going to look like. You're just going to want to drag all the way across to where you can't see it anymore. So now, you see, you have these two frames here. Now you're going to want to select them both by clicking on the first one, then hold Control click on the second one. Now you see this little uh, dot 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 that looks like a motion blur or moving. Just click on it and it'll pull up the tween menu. Now because I had so many letters on my last one I did 50 but depending on how many letters you have depends on this number. I'm going to want to make it pretty smooth so I'm going to do about 40 for this. Okay. And you see now all these 40 letters have come up and now on this last one I'll show you in a second. 
but yeah, if we just play it, and this will be a lot smoother once you render it out, but you see, it has this nice little gloss, and if you want a bit of a delay in between each one, what you can do is on this last one, that little arrow, you can make it how many seconds you want, other, I'll just do two seconds. So now you'll see once it reaches the end, there'll be a bit of there'll be a two second delay. One, two, then it will go. So yeah, it's just if you want to delay, and that's pretty much it. This can be used for many other things. I've kind of detailed a lot of stuff, so it's a pretty long video for this. But this can be used for a lot of other things. Here, let me give you an example. It's just. Do something like yeah. Grab the inner shadow to position control A, move tool, these buttons. Okay. So like you can grab a lips tool and you can go like this. You can grab this color, fill it with that. Now again you're gonna wanna add a clipping mask here. Oh wait, you see it doesn't affect it, you gotta make it a brighter color. Now you could feather this out if you wanted to. Let's just make it overlay. And now, let's see, you'll, you have this shine, basically. You can animate this down, just like we did before. Let's do that. Duplicate. Hold this, bring it all the way down past. Let's add about a two second delay. It's up to both. Tween. Let's do 40 frames again. And play it. So now you see you have the shine going through. Now here's one of the hardest parts that a lot of people don't know about, but a lot of people do at the same time. You, to save it, you can't go file, save as, or save. You have to actually go save for web. This will give you the ability to save it as a .gif file basically an animated picture and you can use it it will open up in your browser so we just go and save to our desktop and yeah I'll show you it right now okay so all I did here was I just opened up a new window you can use this in basically any browser and I just dragged my image over onto the browser you see it, it opened up real nicely and you got this nice little animation running through. This will work with any .gif file. And yeah, you can use this effect for a ton of other stuff. There's a ton of stuff that you need to know how to animate for it that can make it look really cool. But yeah, this is my tutorial on animating text or animating basically anything in Photoshop. But yeah, thanks for watching. This is RMX11 signing out. See ya.